welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Alicia, lover of makeup and glam rock. Now I know I was missing for a week, so what ha happened was <laughs> I uh, did a makeup look last week, or the week before, that had a lot of glitter, red glitter, and I, um, <sighs> I decided not to automatically clean my face after I do my makeup. Sometimes I like to wear my look a little bit longer because it is makeup. I feel like I let it go to waste if I just wash it off. I like to wear it for at least almost a day, you know, walk around my house with the makeup on, show it off to everybody that, you know, comes by the house maybe or to myself in my mirror. <laughs> but uh, yes, so I decided to wear the makeup a little bit longer than I should have and um, probably like three or four hours, I don't know. But uh, I went to go play games. <laughs> I went to play some video games and had my full face playing Fortnite. And I, you know, when you're playing games, you start rubbing your eyes. Yeah, I completely forgot I had makeup on. And I was rubbing my left eye, I believe, probably like once or twice. Maybe three times, I don't remember. But all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I have makeup on. So I w went, washed off the makeup, um, was, you know, okay for the rest of the day. Uh, the next day, though, my eye got very irritated by all the glitter. I was probably rubbing all over it. It probably took a week for the puffiness to go down. Uh, I don't know. It looks okay now. I feel like it feels 100% better now. It was a little bit of an ouchie before, um, but yeah, that's what happened. I uh, was thinking about maybe getting an eye patch just in case if it happens again so I could keep going with my videos. It was a lot of glitter, uh, but hey, go check out that look. It came out really nice on my Instagram, red glitter, fun, fun times. I loved it. Uh, will I be putting a lot of glitter like that again? In the future, I'm not sure, <laughs> but we shall see. I did have eye makeup remover, which is more of an oil base to clean it off, but I think maybe next time when I have glitter, I definitely want to try more of a cream base so I could like wipe it up this way. I wonder if maybe I was just like wiping it off everywhere. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. Thank you guys so much for waiting for this. <laughs> I know I had the results for a while now, just sitting on them. Uh, yes, so the votes are in. Thank you all who participated. Every Saturday I will be posting two products in my Instagram story and you all will have a chance to vote which one is your favorite. So let's talk about the products. The first product I have here is the Balms Instain. The color is Pinstripe. So of course in the name in stain which means long lasting stains the cheeks basically to keep your color around the clock it's cute packaging it has a mirror on one side has the color on the other it's about 0.23 ounce should last up to 12 months and the packaging is recyclable and these are the actual size for these it's not a mini um, the color it has here fall for the blush so I don't know if that means for the season of fall but they highly recommend you to use it any time of the year definitely for all skin tones it's also talc free and cruelty free line they used to sell the balm at Riley Rose from Forever 21 which is now inside the Forever 21s if there are any in your area just Google it online and you'll be able to find their website and you can buy these wonderful blushes. The one near my location, unfortunately, I don't see the bomb in there anymore, but you can look online, thebomb.com, I believe. The next one we have here is from Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This little guy is the mini version. It is 0.05 ounce and does last 12 months. This one usually comes in the free samples at Sephora or you could buy the mini version online. And the one they're giving out online right now is called Seduce, which is a rosy nude. 
The regular size is 0.2 ounce and has a variety of colors that you can look up online as well. This one doesn't come with a mirror, but it is cute little packaging. A little print right here, which I believe is supposed to be the Amazonian River. That's the whole big deal about this blush right here is that the clay is actually from the banks of the Amazonian River. And it is created to make you this wonderful, nice blush. Of course, it won't fade. It is made for all skin tones. It should be very hydrating for your dry skin so you don't have any flakiness going on. It is dermatologist tested. It will minimize the oil around your pores to bring balance to your skin. It is free of mineral oil, triclosan, gluten, phthalates, paraben, and it is also cruelty free. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the colors now. This one is very light. So I'm going to use the Amazonian clay here on my cheeks and I could possibly even use it on my eyelids as well. And yes, I'm using the mirror from the balm one. This is my little Harley Quinn brush that I got from Hot Topics. So it should feel silky on my skin and be blendable and you could just build up as much as you want which is what I love about powder blushes. Now, of course, you can go ahead and just use your finger. I don't have any eye primer on, but this is just for fun. I'm still resting my face, of course. We're going to put the light one on my lids. Looking lovely. I literally think I still see red glitter on my face. I've been washing it constantly, trying to... Well, I think I have red glitter everywhere. I even find some in my bathroom. Oh, first time putting on my makeup again in like a week. Feels so nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, I went ahead and removed the color on this brush. And then I'm going to go ahead with a darker blush. Now this is a new trend that's been going around on Instagram that I've seen where they do a light blush here and the dark blush on the sides. I'm actually really excited about this trend. People are very creative. Also keep in mind that I am just showing you guys without foundation on, but you can be very creative without the whole, you know, having to do a lot. If you're in a rush, you could just put on some mascara and some blush, make it seem like it's glowing as well with some highlight maybe. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and go into the crease, also using the balm. Okay, here's the finished look. <laughs> and now we're going to go to the results. So, let's go. The results are... <gasps> the winner is the balm, 92% and Tarte is 8%. Congratulations! The bomb is the winner. It's also the bomb. <laughs> All right, everybody. So remember to comment below and tell me which one you liked, either Tarte or the bomb. And you could be featured in my next week's video. Last week, we didn't get anybody to comment on it, but I do want to go over a few things with you guys about the sunscreen. I did actually have some questions for myself when I was going through the video. Um, I did think about questions like how to reapply sunscreen when you have makeup on. So I kind of did a little bit of research and since I had time on my hands, also I couldn't make any videos last week, like I said before. So yes, I had a lot of time on my hands and I decided to go on to Robert Welsh's and James Welsh's YouTube channels and they actually literally had a video on there talking about how to reapply sunscreen with your makeup on. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, good. Because I have seen them in stores. You know, they have powders that have SPF in there. And they kind of just go a little bit more into details. I've seen the products, but I don't think I've ever actually tried any of those products. I was curious to know if they actually work. I was wondering if they mentioned about those items. So yeah. They did go through it on those videos. I did mention in the last video that some bum does say they are hypoallergenic. 
for your skin, which is supposed to be, of course, if you easily get allergic to anything, it shouldn't technically shouldn't have any allergies. But I did learn from James Welsh that uh, anybody can put that on their bottles. Anybody. So, like I said before, with caution, make sure maybe you try it on your wrist. Try the sunscreen and if you see a rash, as I mentioned in the last video, wash it off immediately. Because anybody can post this and it's kind of false advertising. False advertising, you just have to be very careful with what you buy. And then another thing that I learned while I was unable to make videos, I went up onto my Instagram where I do, yes, follow Kourtney Kardashian and she's all about the clean beauty so I just wanted to see what a few pointers from her were. I was also wondering about like what types of foods and things are good for you. I went on to her Instagram and I didn't realize she has a YouTube channel now so I went on to YouTube and checked those videos out and she had this one video where she talked about clean beauty and you can actually, she mentions this, a website that you can go on to. It's uh, EWG's website which is Environmental Working Group and you could type in the website food products or skincare products or makeup products, any kind of beauty products and it has like a scale of 1 to 10 or I believe they also have like a little thermometer thing that shows from red to green and which ones are probably a little bit more hazard for you but it has a list of all the ingredients and it goes into a little bit more detail of what they do for you or how they affect you and then also if you can't go on the website and you're kind of on the go and shopping in the market they have an app for you which is fantastic healthy living powered by skin deep I believe I just typed in EWG as well into the Play Store and I got a hold of their app uh, you could type in food or beauty products in there as well or you can actually scan the barcode sometimes it didn't really work very well so i just went ahead and typed it in anyways but it's really neat like i typed in sun bomb and it shows the little scale and it also you know has the ingredients there and it's just a fun little app to do it's great to help if you're allergic to anything and you kind of just want to look at the ingredients. It's very helpful. I like it. I enjoy the app. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you again for being patient with me on releasing this video. I really appreciate your support and <laughs> just uh, going through this situation with me. I will see you guys next week. Keep on loving makeup and keep on rocking.